Uh, my name is Jonathan Smith, I work for York Regional Police. So I did want to become a police officer since I was 10. Um, going through high school, I ventured through the music industry, uh, started meeting people, uh, getting together with friends, playing music. It kind of just took over my life from that time, from when I was like 14, 15 years old, and ended up going till I was about 26, 27. Uh, so I do lead guitar, rhythm guitar, uh, vocals, and uh, piano. 2006, 2007, started our first kind of serious band, and we would play shows just in high school, or with friends, or house parties, and stuff like that, just to get out and have fun. It was for us, you know, no money. We had done like, I think this Battle of the Bands competition, and we won some studio time. So they gave us like a four song EP we could record. So we did it one day. Eventually, we got a little bit of uh, support and we got uh, a local radio station, 94.9 The Rock, had heard of us. They picked it up and they took our songs. So then that led to our first full-length album in 2012. So that was when our, we first started realizing, okay, we've made some money from playing club after club after club, so now we're making a record. Yeah, it turned into a quite a venture for me and for my friends. We started making a bit of money and then we had to start traveling together. So that's maybe our second album. We hit the road. We ended up, uh, you know, touring around, uh, you know, North America. You know, when you make money and you're having a good time or you have a great show, it's, you know, the best. You hit the town and you're having a good time and you're meeting people. And then within 24 hours, it can be, okay, now you're playing to nobody, now you're making no money, and now you all hate each other. <laughs> but then the next night, you're back on top because you're making lots of money, you're playing a big place, yeah, you know, you got a song on the radio, and then it's not very stable of a lifestyle. So well, I always wanted to be a police officer, but when that kind of came into focus for me in music, I always had to realize that, you know, not everyone's given that chance. So I took it. And it was such a great experience. And I loved every minute of it, you know, and I, I don't regret any of it. The life experience uh, portion of it is very important, I find, because I didn't get on here with York till I was 29. The diversity that I experienced on the road and the independence that I gained from, from being a musician helped me here in my career. It kind of enables you to meet new people. It enables you to come across people's stories, come across people's struggles. Uh, and you get used to that. So by the time I came here, I was much more comfortable dealing with confrontation. If someone's having a bad day, I'm much more uh, uh, inclined to go talk to that person and see what's going on. Whereas before, I might not have that. So I finally made the move to go to policing. I had enough of music uh, in the sense of touring. So touring was really exhausting. The minute I stepped out of the van, I said, okay, I'm gonna go be a police officer now. I love playing, I love performing, I love writing music. It's, it's still a big part of me for what I do all the time. Even when I go home, I'll, I'll play guitar and I'll write music. It's like a, it's very therapeutic for me. But that day when we got home, I was exhausted and I just know, I knew that it was time. Everything I gave to music, I had to give that same amount to policing, maybe even more. There's definitely a family dynamic to your platoon. Uh, being able to talk about anything with some of your friends on the platoon, it, it is like a family. But it's important for me to be able to, to keep everything in my life well balanced so that I know that what kind of support that I have at home uh, is this kind of support. What kind of support I have when I'm at work is this type of, is a different type of support. But I channel those outlets and I'm able to utilize them based on how I'm feeling that day. So I know certain people on my platoon who I have to go talk to if I'm struggling or if I'm having a hard time with a call. I'm like, yeah, I know who to go to. And that's like family. You know, you, you'd go to your mom or you'd go to your brother or sister when you have a problem at home. It's the same here on the road. I'm just as excited working, going on the road when I wake up for a block. And there's a lot of people that don't, they're not able to say that. And there's a lot of people that still want to do it. And I want them to be able to follow that, that journey and know that if you stay determined, you can do it, you just gotta stay focused and want it bad enough. <laughs>